the ONTV Cooking Show. I am Tessa Penzi, Production Manager here at ONTV. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite appetizer recipes. It is called Artichoke Dip Stuffed Bread. And it's very easy, takes a very short amount of time. Um, so let's get started. First we'll go over our ingredients. So we need sour cream, uh, mayonnaise, Parmesan cheese, and some garlic, eight ounces of softened cream cheese, some uh, dried dill wheat, and some chopped artichoke hearts. Um, drained, um, you can get an eight ounce can uh, and make sure it's not marinated. And then uh, this recipe does call for two baguettes. The store only had these mini ones, which will work. You might need more. I just got the two for today. So let's get started. First, we're gonna make the inside, the dip part of it. Let me grab my bowl. Okay, so first we need a half a cup of sour cream. Scoop that in there. All right, next up I need a half a cup of mayonnaise. And you can use any kind for this. It doesn't have to be anything specific. I think some people also use Miracle Whip instead of mayonnaise if they want to. But I like mayonnaise. All right. So that'll be the base uh, for the dip. Um, next up, we can add in our cream cheese. I left it out for about an hour, 45 minutes, that'll get it nice and softened. If not, you can put it in the microwave for 45 seconds or so. You don't want to melt it, but you can, you just want it softened up so you can stir it together. All right, then we want to add um, our Parmesan cheese. So the recipe calls for a cup and it wants you to split it up. So we'll put two thirds of a cup into this mix. Add one third. All right. All right, next uh, we need garlic. So it says a clove of garlic. Uh, I tend to get this pre minced stuff because mincing garlic takes a long time. Um, so it says one teaspoon equals about a clove of garlic. So we'll go ahead and put one teaspoon in. You can also add a little more. I know I like a little more garlic in my stuff too. So it's really all about adding to your taste. All right, and next is dill weed, and you just add, you just kind of eyeball it to how much you think you want to put in there. So I might add a little more as we mix it up together. But we'll start with this for now. So we're gonna stir this all together first uh, to get it nice and smooth. And then once we've done that, we'll add in our artichoke hearts. Should. If you need to soften the cream cheese a little bit more, I'm sure putting it in the microwave for a couple seconds won't hurt it. But it shouldn't take too, too long. It also helps if you have a mixing spoon. <laughs> I forgot mine, so I'm just kind of working with what we got. Starting to look, starting to come together. This is a really nice recipe if you're just like, my friends and I used to make it for movie nights. So we would just make up a couple loaves of these and share and it's just, a, it's delicious. It's really good. But it's something you can just cut and share together. All right, that's pretty smooth. That's pretty much how we want it. 
So now I'm going to add in our artichoke hearts and give that a good mix together. There we go. Now we just gotta stir it together and then we should be all set for our dip. Goodness, I'm trying not to make a mess over here, but it's kind of hard. all mixed together. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. All stirred together. So it's it's pretty cheesy and it should it'll melt up nicely in the oven once we stuff it in the bread. Okay I'm going to set this dip aside for now. We're going to move on to um, the bread portion. So I'm going to take each loaf of bread and what we're going to do is we're just going to cut the very top crust off. That way we can just scoop out the inside of the bread to make a well to put the dip in. Well, let's see. If you have a bread knife, I would highly recommend you use it for this part. <laughs> but this will get the job done. All right, the first one is done. We're just gonna set the top part aside. If you wanted to, you could save it. Um, you could save both parts to make a bread, like sandwich later, or even croutons maybe. All right, well, we'll move on to the next one. I'm gonna try and cut a little less off the top this time. quite get all the way through. That's okay. All right, so now we got the tops off of our breads. Now I'm just going to grab another spoon and we're just gonna um, make a well inside of the bread so that we have a place to put our dip. So you just scoop out the inside of the bread. Oh, pretty easy actually. All right, got some more in this corner. I'll get rid of. Um, a note in the recipe that I saw says you could also do this with like a buffalo chicken dip. And that sounds really good too. I've not tried it, but maybe I will next time. All right, let's move on to the next bread. All right, so that, that looks pretty good. Um, you want just enough to be able to put the dip in. But you don't want to take too much out because you don't want the bread to get all floppy either. So this is kind of like a good, good medium for you. All right, so now that we've done that, we are going to spoon in the dip. 
So we don't want to overload it. I'll probably have leftover dip. So what I'll do is I'll take it home, just put some uh, plastic wrap over it, and then I'll make some more later. Just gonna go ahead and spoon that in there. You could also probably throw in some spinach in there too if you wanted to make it more like a spinach and artichoke dip. That'd be pretty good. Spill a little. That's all right. We'll just scoop it back in there. I think I can get a little more filling into the first loaf too. All right, that uh, that was pretty good. I only have I have about a quarter left, so I'll save that for later. When you have two full size baguettes, you won't run into this problem. You will be able to fill up the loaves. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready to put these in the oven. So I would recommend uh, putting them on a baking tray with parchment paper. I did not have parchment paper today, so I just uh, put some aluminum foil and I just sprayed a little grease on it just so they don't get stick. So now I'm just gonna put them on the baking sheet. Like that. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little more Parmesan on the top so that it can get all melty and uh, toasted on top. It'll be really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it. Oops. And the next one. And I like a lot of cheese personally. It's kind of, cheese is kind of my thing. All right, that should be good. All right, so now we just have to bake these up and they'll be ready to go. So I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until the cheese gets golden brown on top and they should be ready to go. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and when we return, we'll take a look at how they turned out. Welcome back to the On TV Cooking Show. Uh, it's been about 25 minutes, um, so the bread is looking good. Let's take it out and uh, see what we got. Ooh, it looks good. All right, so it's nice and browned on the top and the bread is crispy. I can't wait to try some. How about we cut into it and then you guys can see what it looks like once you cut into it. Ooh. Might be better to do this on a cutting board, but that's okay. Ooh, that was nice and crunchy. See how gooey it is on the inside? So good, whoops, here we go. And that'll do it. I can't wait to try some and share with my coworkers. I think uh, it's gonna be a delicious little treat. Um, if you want to watch any of our other recipes that we've done, uh, be sure to check out our YouTube page. We put them all there. We also have them up for on-demand viewing on our website, orientontv.org. And there we also have PDFs of all of our recipes that we've tried. So you can give it a trial home and see what you think for yourself. Um, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.